Hi, this is Tony Hiller from RealClimateScience.com, setting the record straight about climate. This video is titled, Hurricane Superstition Reaches Category 5. The press is full of stories explaining how global warming is making hurricanes, heat waves, fires more intense, and the fingerprints of climate change are on all these events. But just a few weeks ago, the fake news press was full of stories explaining how climate change was causing the lack of hurricanes. The United States just went through the quietest 11 or 12 year period on record for hurricanes. So we went for almost 12 years without a major hurricane, then we get one and a second one forecast, and all of a sudden, it's due to climate change. And it's not only due to climate change, it's actually due to climate change skeptics. Their refusal to act is what's causing the hurricanes. It's very reminiscent of the 16th century when 15,000 witches were burned at the stake for cooking the weather. People would get together and say, we don't remember the weather being bad like this before she moved into the neighborhood. So they decided she was a witch and they burned her. They actually had witch scales back in the 16th century where they would weigh women to decide if they were witches. This is very similar to how they now find the fingerprint of climate change on hurricanes. If we look at the actual hurricane data from NOAA, we can see that the number of hurricanes hitting the United States over the last 150 years has declined. It's actually down about 33% from 150 years ago. And the worst hurricane year in the U.S. was 1886, when we were hit by seven hurricanes. Texas was hit by four hurricanes that year, including two major hurricanes. One of those wiped the city of Indianola, Texas off the map permanently. There's a long history of very bad hurricanes. Three of the 10 deadliest Atlantic hurricanes occurred during the Revolutionary War. The deadliest Atlantic hurricane occurred in 1780 when 23,000 people were killed. This is what Providence, Rhode Island looked like during the Great Storm of 1815. And this is what Providence, Rhode Island looked like during the New England hurricane of 1938. The deadliest U.S. hurricane occurred on September 8, 1900. Half of the city of Galveston, Texas was wiped out and 10,000 people died. They spent months cleaning up the dead bodies from that storm, which kept floating back up on the shore. They rebuilt Galveston after the 1900 storm, put up a seawall, and raised the elevation of the city by three feet by bringing dirt in. But they were hit by another major hurricane in 1915, which again did a huge amount of damage. In September of 1926, Miami was destroyed by a hurricane. We've always had really bad hurricanes, but after the record hurricane drought, people have simply forgotten about them. The belief that hurricanes are getting more common and more intense is based on superstition, not science. Scientists have been failing at these forecasts for decades. They've been forecasting an increase in both the frequency and intensity of hurricanes for at least 30 years. But as always the case, this story actually gets much worse. This is the actual hurricane season temperature data for all states on the U.S. Atlantic and Gulf Coast, the states that get hit by hurricanes. What it shows us is that temperatures have plummeted in those states over the last 110 years. So the experts believe that hurricanes are getting worse, which they aren't, and they believe it's due to temperatures increasing, which they aren't. Their whole theory is completely baseless from beginning to end. But let's do some actual science. Note that there was a huge drop off in temperatures after the year 1954. Well, 1954 was a very big year for hurricanes. In 1954, New England was hit by two major hurricanes within 10 days. Those were the last major hurricanes to ever hit New England. And shortly after the two New England major hurricanes came Hurricane Hazel, which was the deadliest hurricane in Canada's history. It caused a huge storm surge on Lake Ontario, which killed more than 100 people. Now let's go back for a minute and look at the temperature graphs again. 1954 was the last year when New England was hit by major hurricanes, and right after that, temperatures plummeted. So there does seem to be a relationship between temperature and major hurricanes. The only problem is it's going the exact opposite direction of what the experts claim. This is the 1926 Red Cross map of all the disasters they'd served since 1905. 
This was put out right after the Miami hurricane of 1926, which destroyed the city. As you can see, the Red Cross has always been servicing lots of disasters. People just don't remember. Hurricanes are not getting worse and temperatures are not increasing along the U.S. coast during hurricane season. Everything you read in the press about hurricanes and climate is fake news. Ignorance and superstition is not an excuse for science. Visit Toto on the web at realclimatescience.com. He's been pulling back the curtain on junk science for a long time.